In this video, we're going to be reviewing the stage display and the remote application for Worship Extreme. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. There's no lie, I like Worship Extreme, and I finally got a chance to get around to testing out the stage display and the Worship Extreme remote for Android. Now, I, it also comes out it's actually also available on the iPad um, and iPhone, but I don't have a way to screen share in my setup right now. So I'm going to be using my NVIDIA Shield to run this. So I'm interested in this because I don't know, most of y'all may know that I'm also a minister of music. I play on fifth Sundays for the young adult choir at my church. So when I'm up there, I am not in the media booth. So, but there are many times that I would like to have lyrics and more complex lyrics and get my choir from instead of carrying sheet music or lyric sheets um, to actually be able to display this. And we talked about that in this video up here. No, this video up here with the stage display. So, but one issue with the stage display is I need somebody that knows the song and how it's gonna come and go and change. Now, from being a minister of music, I don't always go from the beginning all the way to the end. I might loop back and things like that. And unless the media ministry is actively in my choir and been at choir rehearsal or know my cues or can read my mind, <laughs> they're not going to know when I'm going to come and go and change what I'm doing in the song. So that's why I'm liking the Worship Extreme remote because that would give me access to actually control where the song is going to go at any point in time. Now, also, the stage display, um, I'm trying to think in my scenario is not really ideal, but say you don't have the opportunity of putting a big monitor and running a secondary display from your computer down to the front so you can have a display dedicated for them like I did in the Good Shepherd project that I installed. This will allow you to have a stage display, but on using a tablet or an iPad to be able to show the lyrics. So that will alleviate them needing to have an entire display. Just imagine, you can have that for your musicians. Um, you can't put notes on there, but at least they'll know the words and they can see. Or if you have a praise team, you can put an iPad up there and have the lyrics up there just for them to see out of sight. Put it like on a music stand or something like that. But that's enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and cut over to Worship Extreme first to get everything set up. All right, so I'm here in Worship Extreme, the main screen, and I'm just showing you right now, I have four monitors hooked up. Monitors three and four are gonna be the stage display, as well as the, well, excuse me, three is gonna be the regular display that everyone would see in the church, but then number four is gonna be the stage display. So that's how I have everything set up. So let me go over here to the song, and actually let me remove this song that we did so I don't get hit for using that song. So I'm going to hit and launch this. And actually, let's pick a different song to make this a little simpler. I'll use Anthem. All right, so if I come in here and pick our first slide, just select it. And let's go ahead and cut over to the other screen. All right, so we just pick our slide and as you can see, we can just click through it and we're going through everything. All right, and if we go and cut over to our other screen, then we can also see what the stage display is showing. All right, so again, we see our next slide and everything like that. All right, so first, let's go ahead and switch back to the regular display that everybody else is gonna see. And then let's go over to our tablet all right so first let's do the, the stage display because that's kind of straightforward so let's go ahead and just launch that i'm going to log in all right so it picked up my computer that's running worship extreme if not i mean you know we just hit refresh 
and that's the only one that's running. So let's go ahead and pick that. And boom, we have the exact same layout that we were seeing on this monitor, except for the time and countdowns, all right? Pretty easy. So let me go ahead and switch back to our regular output here. And then let's bring up this one at the same time. So as you can see, if I switch on our main control here, you see everything is switching here. And now it's the end of the song. So if we go back here to the beginning, it's so really straightforward. So that's the stage display, but let's go back to our tablet now. Let's exit out of here and let's go back to our desktop and we're gonna go to the remote. Similarly, let's log in. So we're logged in and just like the other stage display, it's gonna pick up any instances of Worship Extreme. We just go ahead and pick that. And now we have our interface. Now with the remote, we don't have access to change the queue list. You're only able to just see the currently active queue list. So if I came in here back on the application itself and say, I'm gonna go here and pick a completely new queue list, as you can see, it changed here on the tablet. So we have scripture here. And you know, this would, if you happen to be in a situation sometimes, if you had to run everything by yourself, it gives you access to do this. So I'm here on the scripture and I can go through here and let's switch over to our output so you can see. So we have our scripture there. And we got our tablet here, so we can, actually, let me switch those around. And then I can go in here and just change the output here to the next verse, if need be. Or I can just tap and select it, either one, and that changes what you're seeing there. Now from a stage display, you know, you'll actually be able to see <laughs> what the current scripture is and going into the next one. So really cool. Um, you can switch here, but like I said, you're limited to what's going on right now. You can always go back. You can change to thumbnail view if you wanted to. I personally wouldn't do that. That's just me. But you know, you can go back here to the welcome, which is an actual video, but that's not going to show anything on the stage display. Um, so that's fine. But I mean, pretty cool that you allow you to do this. So this kind of gives you some options if you're kind of like in a scenario like me, where you happen to be like a minister of music and you want to be able to have some more control over what's going on, but you just might not be able to. So this, and you're not in the booth that is. So this at least you can give the tablet over to a responsible <laughs> minister of music or somebody that's down there and then they can direct if they want to go back and forth with the lyrics and they will show on the screen for the congregation or for the choir or independently. So it just opens the doors to a lot of things. I like this. Um, really smooth and really never had any issues with the software. Again, I ran this on my iPad as well too, and it works perfectly fine the exact same way. There's no favor to either one. Granted, my iPad has a bigger screen, but my Nvidia Shield actually does stuff in 4K, so wherever you wanna trade off with it. So it's really cool. The one thing you do need to know is to use this function, you need to have a higher tier plan over other than the free plan with Worship Extreme. But again, if you actually are in a situation where you want to completely get rid of papers and you want you have a worship team, a praise team, a worship team, or you have a choir and you want to get rid of paper, you can set up something like this. I'm thinking you can have like three iPads um, if you doing classic soprano alto tenor and just put it on a, a music stand or something like that that's clear enough for people to see um, or something like that. But either way, that will work. So again, that was the Worship Extreme 
stage display app and the remote app really cool get it from their website check those guys out at worshipextreme.com awesome free presentation software that can get you started or you can roll that into the higher tiers and it can do the same functionality if not more than some of the other folks out there i hope you like this type of content guys if you do i appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other great videos this is aj we'll see you on the next video later